radio, favorite radio station. The accidents have smile. Starring your old softy, Birdie Lee. I'm going to tears. But still remember, folks. Smile, darn your smile. Right, Becky, smile, darn your smile.
Are you the lady that runs this here orphanage? Yeah, what do you want? Ralph, I'm scared. Something could happen to her. Hush, Sherry. It's going to be all right, Sherry. She's going to be here and she's going to be ours again. Ma'am, was you working here 11 years ago? Yeah. Uh, but we had terrible troubles back then. We had to head north to Canada and, well, we had to leave our baby down in Frozen. Our Annie. Annie? Your Annie's parents? Yes. Yes, we are. Where did you say you're from again? I come from a farm in Canada. We got lots of chickens and, and ducks and, and geese and roosters. <laughs> It's gonna be the best bunker job ever, Aggie. I know a guy out in Brooklyn who can doctor up a fake birth certificate and any other details you want on that. But we need your help, sis. We need your help real bad. Yeah, I can help. I can help a lot. Yeah, yeah. Guys, look. In here, everything on all the offices. I need some music. Yeah. to nervous, lofty campaign promises. All we have heard from Franklin Delano, Roosevelt, and his so-called brain trust is a great deal of high flown talk and virtually no action. In a nation wracked in poverty, misery, and unemployment, it is deeds we want from the White House, not words. In short, Mr. President, if you're listening, we've had enough of your fireside chats. It's time to Lining. You're never fully 
Thank you. 
And um, by grace, that's a very pretty dress. Oh, thank you, sir. Um, well, uh, put her in one of your new dresses and uh, let Cecile do that, something with the hair, you know. Uh, cuss you up. Oh, yes, sir. Cuss you up. Oh. 
Oh. Well, uh, whatever you prefer, sir. Uh, I think we'd best be going now. <laughs> Goodbye, Annie. Bye, Annie, love. Till tomorrow morning, honey. Then you'll be spending the rest of your life with us. Bye. 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 Merry Christmas. Season's greeting. Oh, well, friends, <clears throat> we just heard the most wonderful news. Yes, wonderful. Annie's found her parents, and, and they seem like a very nice couple. Yes, very nice. You're lucky, Annie. Right, and what? <laughs> just think, you're dirty. Uh, Drake? Yes, sir? Has everybody got champagne? I want to propose a toast to any much.
Christmas. Yes, Merry Christmas. There she is, our little girl. And we, we don't want to be keeping you long. We'll, we just want to take Annie and get her things and... Uh, oh, and the check. Oh, yes, and the check. Yes. Mr. Much, here's the check. Paid to the order of Ralph Mudge. Read it again. Paid to the order. The jig is up. Yes, the jig is up. Daniel Francis Hannigan. Also known as Christopher Hannigan. Also known as Ralph Mudge. Also known as Danny the Tip. Great. As a secret service man, I think you've got the power to arrest. Arrest these people. Get off of me! Get off of me! And drink. I think Miss Hannigan, she's their apprentice. Arrest her too. Hey, I never even seen these people till yesterday. Oh, come off it, sis! Oliver. Come on, Oliver. I've always been so nice to you. The jig is up. Sorry, Miss Hannigan. What's the one thing you always taught me? Never tell a lie. Why are you little crap? I've always hated you, you gold digger! You are a <laughs> Okay, girls. You know? Kids, I've got great news. Tandy's got to get. Yeah! Yes, no more work for you. Thank you.